Alright, welcome back guys. Uh, let's get cracking and start building this scene. If you don't know uh, why we're doing it or if you miss the first video, I'm going to put a link down here so you can view that. I just explained why we're doing it and you know how it's how can it, it, it can reflect in your games. So this one I'm going to do guys, I'm going to do the terrain, put the detail in, model these out, model the character, put the tree in and uh, do the lighting. So that's that. Um, let's quit this now. I set up a project before this video because um, you know it takes ages to to import the assets um, I called it moody scene double click that it will open so these are the standard assets guys I uh, imported I imported the um, tree creator we're gonna put the tree in uh, the terrain assets and the sky boxes so we're gonna put a sky box in as well and the other thing I did guys was put download the terrain toolkit you can get the terrain toolkit from the Unity website, support, resources, Unity extensions. Uh, just download it and um, go to import custom package. All right, so this is just an add-on to the terrain editor. So it um, has a nice bunch of nice resources and some extra tools. All right, guys, so uh, that's that. These are the uh, resources we need from uh, the standard Unity uh, resources. The rest of them are going to build from scratch. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, create the terrain itself, and straight away that's way too big. <laughs> so we're going to set the resolution to about one two four fifty one two four again. All right, guys. Set the resolution down a bit. Um, I do and I'm immediately going to put the grass texture onto this terrain uh, let's search for it, grass hill I want it to be very detailed so I'm just going to put 5 and 5 boom straight away it's done alright guys so now I'm going to say this scene out uh, moody moody scene Oh, sorry guys I must have pressed shift when I press save um, <laughs> anyway there's a bunch of stuff we need to uh, add into this scene to make it look nice. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a um, directional light. Let's bring it up a bit out of the way. And all right, I want this to be a light grey. You know, a bit greyish. And bring the intensity down to about 0.02. Straight away, it's dark. It looks gloomy. All right, guys. <laughs> so that's that. Um, we want to have soft shadows on the directional light. Um, our tree is going to have a nice long shadow, alright guys, and um, I think that's all we need to do for the directional light. Um, if I go into the uh, render settings, this is quite important, I want to have fog, alright, it's going to be black, so it's going to kind of fade out as we go along. Uh, the density is 0.02 again, and um, the skybox material guys, I want the, uh, the, is this the moon? Where's the moon? That's the one, that's the one I wanted. Alright, so that's the one I wanted, and um, that's it for the render settings. So we're kind of getting our scene up and running. Uh, if I go down to the project settings and the player, I want to export this on PC, and we want the rendering path to be deferred lighting. Alright, guys, because we're going to put a spotlight in the, um, or a point light in the lamp. And in order for the this light to uh, cast shadows, it needs to be deferred. You know, it can't be forward. Alright guys, so that's that. Is there anything else we want to do to set up this, guys? Uh, let me just check, because I wrote all the stuff down before i done the video. Um, going back to the directional light. Uh, let's bring this up a bit to 0.15. Alright, so we can see what we're doing. <laughs> Alright, um, all right, that looks about right. Uh, let's kind of zoom in and go back to the terrain. Uh, Let's put the tree in there, guys. So I want to add a tree. Big tree, that's the one. Uh, let's add it in. Let's make my brush size so really small. I only want one tree. And let's put it kind of right in the middle. Boom. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, simple as that. That's our tree. And I want to make the shadow look really long. So let's find the directional light. Let's kind of adjust the camera. And... Um, Put it, can you see the shadow moving? So that's that. Uh, let's make it a bit longer. Just to make it look really gloomy. Alright, so. Alright, guys, so simple as that actually. Um, if I go into my lights, I just want to put a bit of detail around the tree to begin with. So let's go back to this. And um, here we go. We can create like 
details if you want like a grass texture for example and uh, let's type in grass guys be easier to find I use the grass too I'm just gonna add that the way it is um, bring the brush size down a bit and bring the opacity bit down a bit guys um, alright so we're just gonna add a bit of detail don't overdo it and um, my camera's rotating a bit dodgily so uh, alright guys so sim like I said in the first video simpli simplicity is uh, more effective sometimes than complexity alright um, is there anything else we can add check out the detail meshes, nah no, don't do that um, Oh, sorry guys, click that again. Um, I think there's another grass texture that might be good. Um, I think I tried the big tree bar, maybe. Again, let's see what this looks like. That's the one. I like that one, guys. Add a bit more detail. Um, yeah, there we go. There's another one growing here, for example. All right, so that just has a little bit more detail guys alright so detail is quite important you know I, I, like I've showed you in previous videos I like putting planes in the scene I like building like the building blocks first and then putting planes in and putting textures like transparent textures in in the scene wherever I want to add more detail so we'll be doing that later on um, so I think that's all I wanted to do for this video guys just set up the scene and um, as you can see it's quite easy we've uh, set up our shadows the fog uh, and the tree Alright guys, so in the next video I'm going to model out the, the lamp and the uh, the bench, I think. It'll probably be two separate videos. Alright, so hopefully I'll see you in the next video guys, so thanks for watching.